Today guys, I bring you this combo of weapons which is brutal enough to basically one hit everything in the game. No build required, no glitches, just pure weapon swapping action. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So playing through the Mox's heist of the handsome jackpot and acquiring some of the new legendaries, I had a thought after finding and testing one particular weapon, the Iron Cannon. This heavy launcher is by far up there with the most powerful weapons in this game. So after finding a boss who drops this, one I won't mention for spoiler reasons within this video, but if you do want to find out how this is obtained, check out the video linked within the description. What I will say is, this is more or less a guaranteed drop from this boss, which means basically you can farm much, much easier for that perfect role, and it comes in many different variants offering all elements. So yeah, like I said, that video you will find linked within the description. If you don't know how this is obtained, don't care about spoilers and want to get it. So yeah, after playing with this, uh, this heavy for a while, I had a thought of using the crit swap technique. Will it work? And what would it be capable of? Crit swapping, if you don't know, is something I have covered numerous times and it works very easy indeed. This is how it's done. Firstly, you need a weapon where its projectiles uh, give you a chance, well, basically your projectiles after you fire them, give you enough chance to switch weapons before they actually hit the target. So weapons like the Cutsman, which fire slow projectiles, are perfect for this. Many others too. But using the Cutsman, for instance, here, fire off its shots, then switch to the Unforgiven pistol. Now, the Unforgiven, as I'm sure you are aware, has a between a 300 and 450 percent damage bonus to those crit hits. So what happens is, firing off those cutsman shots, then switching to the Unforgiven, every shot you hit after you've switched to the Unforgiven gets that bonus damage to that crit spot from that Unforgiven, and the results are amazing. Because you are switching before those first shots have hit, the game thinks you are shooting that Unforgiven and gives it its damage bonus, which is just utterly crazy. It's powerful, it's nuts, and it's amazing at the same time, guys. So I wondered if I could get this to work using the Iron Cannon and the Unforgiven, as the Iron Cannon does shoot its projectiles pretty damn quick. But lo and behold, I actually got it to work, and it works well. And it's simple to do also. Hold down the charge of the Iron Cannon, then switch to the Unforgiven as soon as you release the trigger and the results are utterly crazy. And it probably results, to be honest, in the easiest crit swap technique I have seen. I saw damage numbers like 4 million plus when fighting Grave Ward. And remember guys, this is the result of just two weapons. Nothing build-wise is coming into effect here. No elemental projector artifacts either. Nothing. This could only, in reality, get more powerful. So yes people, get the Iron Cannon. Pair it with the Unforgiven, which drops from the Indole Tyrant, who is a rare enemy upon the Flood Mob base in Eden 6. Get these, pair them together, and have fun annihilating bosses in a single hit. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.